going on everyone it's dj cream here at in the mix dj school and today i'm going to show you how i create a transition from a latin song to a top 40 dance record using presonus studio one now i'm using studio one version two professional but you can also check out the free version at presonus.com um, and one of the things that i love about presonus is the fact that you can just drag and drop your tracks and get started working uh, I'm going to open up my iTunes, where I have my tracks. Most of my library is there. And I already pulled up the bachata record that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to drag and drop it right onto the project. And I'm going to search for the top 40 record, which is, I got a feeling. We're going to use the David Guetta mix. And... Drag and, dra uh, drag and drop it right onto there. Now, it automatically created tracks for these two songs. And now, one of the cool things about Presonus is that it'll time stretch the songs to whatever you're working at. I set my project tempo at 128 beats per minute. But I know that the Sacaria Ferreira song is at 126. So if the inspector's not open, I can simply click on the I and go right down here. Now it's read the BPM because I've uh, imported the song there before, but if, if it wasn't set, I can set it here to 126, and this David Guetta record is 128. So the first thing I wanna do is line up my bachata song to the grid so I can start you know, sp uh, splitting it, cutting it, and creating the loop, so I'm gonna Go somewhere in the middle of the track. So I'm going to start right there. So I'm going to line up that first beat right there to the bar number 64. I'm going to zoom in, line it up. And I'm also going to use a split tool. I can go up here or hit the number three and just split it there. Zoom out and then listen to it to see where my end loop is going to be. Now, as you see, the track has drifted a little bit, and that happens a lot in Latin music, um, especially with a lot of these uh, bachata songs. So instead of me trying to line up the whole track what i'm going to do is i'm going to split where the downbeat is right before the downbeat and now i'm just going to take this segment that's right here and i'm going to hold out and i'm going to drag it over and it's going to put it right on the grid so i can delete the rest of this and i'm really going to be working with this segment right here so now Now you see that it's perfectly on the grid. So now what I'm going to do is bring in the David Guetta record. And I'm just going to line it up right to that first beat. Clean up the beginning, delete, and let's just listen to it. So that's pretty good. Now all I can do is, now all I have to do is use the letter D for duplicate and duplicate this a lot of times. So this is very, very handy because in other softwares you have to control or command C, command D to copy and paste here. You just select it and duplicate it and it keeps it on the grid. So it keeps it lined up. So now that we have this lined up, I'm gonna start adding the effects. The first thing I wanna do is use the Pro EQ that comes with uh, Studio One. And I'm just gonna drop it right onto the track. And now one of the good things about this EQ is that it gives you the feel of also being able to use it sort of like a DJ mixer to create um, your mixes as, as if you were doing them live. Uh, so I'm gonna use the the filter, the low, the low cut filter, um, and I'm just gonna 
change it to like 36 except what I want to do is I don't want the filter obviously to go throughout the whole track so I'm going to use the automation to enable and uh, bypass the EQ because I only want it to start at this point so I'm just going to draw it in it's that easy so throughout the whole track the EQ is off <laughs> And it turns on right there. But right now, even though it's turned on, I haven't done anything. Um, now, what I want to do is turn on the low frequency, the filter. And I'm going to automate this because I want to be able to control that uh, the frequency. So let's move it back. Listen to it. Cut a lot of the low end. Uh, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. I don't wanna lose too much of it. That's good right there. And I'm gradually bringing it in. I could also draw it in uh, if I wanna use, make it a little smoother. I can just use that tool and it will just bring it in nice and smooth. So I like the way that's sounding now. I'm also gonna bring in the Pro EQ on the Black IP record because I, I don't want that beat to come in so rough. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring in the beat with no bass right, or, right up to here and then have it kick in. So I'm going to use the Pro EQ. And I'm going to do the same thing. So bring it in this time with no bass. So we'll bring this up. That's a little too much. And we'll end up cutting it. right there what I like to do is enable and then disable the EQ so that you don't get any problems of it actually staying on after the track so let's listen to this a lot smoother so basically if we look at the frequency at the same time that it's cutting it here it brought it in underneath so now let's get to the fun stuff um, studio one has this great plugin called Xtrem and basically it allows you to create different effects uh, like pan or um, sort of this transform. Uh, I call it transform from the DJ side, um, but it's really cool because it you know it syncs up to whatever you're doing and you can create some really really cool effects. Uh, so I'm going to use this on the um, on the track on the bachata track. So what I'm going to do is uh, just listen to it first, set up the parameters. The square wave. That's exactly what I want right there. But you know what? I want to cut it a little bit more.
So as you see, I'm just moving the beats, uh, the knob, so that it kind of shortens it, makes it smaller. Um, but I want to be able to do that as it, the track is playing. So what I'm going to do is actually automate this button. Again, right click, edit and automation. That's how easy it is. Um, and I want to start with just uh, these two uh, segments here. I'm going to leave alone. So we're gonna we're gonna end up using the bypass first and bring this up. So we're gonna start from there, and we're gonna start at half beat. So we're gonna go back to our LFO beats and start at half. We're gonna go and then here we're gonna change it to quarter. For the last one, we're going to go to E. And we are going to just duplicate this one more time. All right, so we're getting there. Um, so again, this is the X trem, and what I'm using is just changing the beats and using a square wave to be able to kind of cut it up and uh, transform it. So now, when it's transforming, I also want to add a little bit of delay. So we're going to use the beat delay. And again, we're going to set up the parameters. So I think I want the, uh, let's listen to it. So basically what it's doing is that every time that the extrem cuts it, it's giving it also the beat delay. So I'm going to turn down the feedback a little bit and the width is going to be on stereo. want just a little bit of it, not too much. And I'm going to do a low cut, a little bit of a high cut. All right, so we're getting there. So the last thing I want to do is add a filter. Uh, basically the filter I want it to come in uh, right around here, right in these last two, basically these last eight bars. Um, and before I forget, I also want to bypass, I don't want to have the delay on the whole time. So we're just gonna move this over to where the delay actually starts and just bypass it. So this is something that is really easy um, using these effects. Once you learn uh, your way around, one of the great things that I love about uh, Studio One is that um, it really gets you, gets the creative side going because it's really simple to use. You don't have to open up so many windows to get the stuff. The effects are just drag and drop. It's on there. Um, it has some really cool presets that you can work with. Um, so I personally love this uh, filter. I'm just gonna put this at four bars. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna automate the mix. And this is something that uh, I like also, the fact that it's so easy to use the automation. Um, so you don't have to do go crazy with windows and different steps uh, just to get, you know, 
some automation going. So this is really simple. What I'm going to do is just put the auto filter on in these last two segments. And I'm going to use this draw tool to kind of give it a little bit of a steep coming in. So I'm just automating the mix. And I set this to four bars. So that's coming out uh, pretty good. And what I'm gonna do also is just delay the end a little bit because it, it kind of sounds like it gets cut off. So for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna put a delay on just this last hit here. So I'm gonna split this and now I'm gonna use the event effects, which I have to enable. So I select the segment, I go right here in the inspector and I enable it. And I'm gonna add a different, uh, another beat delay just to that segment. And I'm gonna set the feedback a little bit more. I'm going to do a low and high cut. And I'll leave the beat at a quarter note. And then what I'm gonna do is, I want this the, the effect to continue, so I'm gonna add the tail. I'm just gonna put 10 seconds. Probably don't need that much, but. Uh, so let's listen to it now. Pretty good. Now again, the idea here is to uh, create this transition, but also make it sound um, sort of like something that you would do uh, if you were doing this live using the, a DJ mixer and, uh, and a couple CDJs. So let's let's just listen to it from the, from the top. there you have it guys another tutorial from dj cream and in the mix dj school and if you want to learn more mixing techniques you can check out our six week dj producer course on presona studio one also available online classes more information log on to in the mix dj school.com and you can also download the free version of studio one at presonus.com